Hi, I'm Dr. George Bruder, Chairman of Endodontics and the Director of Advanced Education Program in Endodontics at Stony Brook University School of Dental Medicine. Today we're going to be discussing the use of the Apex Locator. The Apex Locator, back in 1996, was shown to be 96% accurate by a research study done by Shabahang. One thing I want to do today is review some simple tips that can increase your accuracy and ease of use with the Apex Locator. The first thing you want to be reminded is that your Apex Locator has its power from batteries. What I'd like you to do is always look at your meter and make sure that your power is greater than half of the bars. If your battery strength goes below halfway, the accuracy of your Apex Locator can be compromised. This is something we have to be conscious of, and a simple tip is every time we change our clocks, we should change the batteries in our Apex Locator. Some other useful tips include what can we do while using the Apex Locator to keep an irrigant in the canal. So we have a perfect lubricant, and there's nothing wrong with keeping an irrigant in the canal. However, remember if you have a multi-rooted tooth, you do not want the chamber to be moist or filled. This could trick the apex locator into thinking that it's in more than one canal, especially in a multi-rooted tooth like a molar. Also, many of us have to be aware of the fact that the metal of the file can connect with large restorations and or crowns. One simple tip here is the ProLube ampule is plastic. When you cut that to remove your lubricant, don't throw it away. It's a conical piece of plastic that's hollow. And if you snip this, you can slide this over your hand file. And this can act as an insulator to prevent the metal of the file from contacting your restoration. This will increase your accuracy and get away from that annoying bouncing of your needle from the apex locator. Also keep in mind, you want to always use a file one file length longer than you're used to using when trying to determine your estimated working length when using your apex locator. If your estimated working length is 21 millimeters, advance a 21 millimeter file to that estimated working length, but prior to using the apex locator, use a 25 millimeter file. This will allow you adequate space for the file clip to go above your stopper. That way, you're not pushing the stopper down when determining this accurate working length from your reference point. Also, you're going to notice your apex locator, as you advance it apically, may go beyond your apical constriction. As mentioned before, I want you all to remember to remove that file by turning it counterclockwise back into the canal. This will allow you to advance it back to the working length without destroying the apical constriction. Also remember that the file clip that plugs into your probe wire is made of brass. That connector can oxidize over time. It's a simple trick and tip for all of you. Go to your local hardware store, get triple zero steel wool used in finishing furniture. This will allow you to remove that oxidized layer and increase your points of contact when connecting this connector to the probe wire. And last, remember, when you have the rubber dam on, it's a simple idea, but it's a trick that I hope you find very useful, and that is taking your file clip, extending it out, and clipping it onto the rubber dam itself during your treatment. That way, it's easily accessible the next time you need it during the case. I hope these tips are useful in your practice, and I look forward to sharing more in the future.